Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and a brand new room tour. Today I am in Leeds for four nights. There will be vlogs going up on the channel um, after this video. I'm hoping for at least two. Um, but me and Sam are here at the Park Plaza in Leeds, which is literally across the road from the train station. And we are on the fifth floor in an executive twin room. We are 508. So I will finish this intro and we will get into the room and I'll show you what's in there. So that's us in the room. You pop your card in as per normal, and then you've got obviously your light switches, but there's more around the room. So to the right, I'll show you the triple wardrobe, and there's my little reflection in there. So we'll start left to right. So this side has empty shelf, safe. You've got your kettle along with, there's hot chocolate sachets in here, and then you've got some extra teas and stuff. And then you do have a fridge, if I can open it on the right side, totally empty, perfect. The other side is a uh, double, and you've just got some spare pillows, plenty of hangers, and then you've got your ironing board. Now we've done the wardrobe, I will pan out to the rest of the room. So on the left, you've got this huge kind of almost floor to ceiling mirror, and you've got two little sort of chest of drawers either side of the bed. There's nothing in these whatsoever. Um, as I said, we have a twin room, and here are the beds. On the other side, again, you've just got the exact same chest of drawers just two drawers but they're quite deep as well and you've got a little canvas on the wall you've got the backdrop of the wall with a lovely stain on the wall beautiful we then come round and we're actually on the corner so we've got a couple of windows and this room is brighter we had a little bit of a mix up with the previous room they gave us a double bed um so we had to change and that room was actually darker um we have a little couch with sam hello <laughs> And then we've got this massive desk area. So we'll start again left to right. So you've got your phone that came from the 80s. You've got pen and paper. We've got, is this an S? Yeah, this is an espresso machine with a few different ones here. I don't use these, so I haven't got a clue what they are. With your little um, espresso cup. You've got your complimentary still and then sparkling water. We actually picked this up at reception. It's just a big map of Leeds. And then on the back more of these. You then have this lovely Samsung TV, Sam's bag, we'll try and figure that one out later. And then we have the bathroom. Now this bathroom actually has, oh it's a frosted glass door. Lovely, let's get the light on. Okay, so hairdryer on the wall for Sam, we've got tissues. Your toiletries are actually complimentary of Elemis, which is a very luxurious brand. We have me in the mirror. I don't look great. Traveling for over three hours is not fantastic, but I like the sink. Woo! And then you've got one of these mirrors that sticks out. You can flip it around for your different, what is it, magnifications, I think. So that's really cool. You've got your toilet, plenty of spare toilet rolls as well. There's a phone in here. It actually works. It's a working telephone. And then finally, the bath shower, which actually looks really big. I'll just push this door too, so you can see the frosted door. You can't even see Sam through the door, actually. Give us a wave, Sam. Yeah, I can't see a thing. But yeah, big, massive mirror. It kind of makes the bathroom probably feel bigger than it actually is. Um, but this is the bathroom, and that is the room. So just before I finish the vlog, Sam's told me to tell everyone how much space we actually have in this room. So this is me right by the door on the way in. And you can see how much floor space we actually have. We have loads of floor space, so there is tons of room. So Sam can spread her stuff all across there and wherever she wants. Um, and I'll just be self-contained over there. <laughs> but yeah, it is a really big room and it's great that it's a corner room as well. And I think there's only literally like six rooms on each floor. I think that's how it was. It has now been one full week since me and Sam returned from our trip to Leeds and I figured that I would add a review to the end of the hotel room tour. Now as you'll have seen we just stayed at the Park Plaza in Leeds for four nights from Friday the 9th of June to Tuesday the 13th and I thought I'd go over some positives and some negatives of staying in that hotel. Now of course let's start off with the positives. I've got a little few notes that I've just wrote down. Number one, the location was fantastic. We were an actual 30 second walk into the Trinity shopping centre, which was the biggest shopping centre in Leeds that we could 
most definitely see and it also had the most choice as well and from there you could basically just get anywhere from the hotel entrance you could just go straight up and then you would hit you know sort of bars and like restaurants you would get to the market that we visited in the vlogs which you'll of course see if you choose to watch them so there was a lot of choice from where we were and the location was top notch could not fault it our room was really big and spacious actually um you'll have seen from the clips just before this um massive floor plan for the room plenty of space especially to spread yourself out over the four nights that we were of course there for um oh one thing i did forget to mention in the room tour itself was the plug situation i realized after i'd filmed it i didn't touch on the plugs which i usually do there was no usb plugs but there was double sockets one at each side for each bed and i'm sure there was three plugs along the wall for the the big massive desk area that was there i think there was a double plug at one end and i think there was a single plug at the other end as well actually so there was plenty of plugs everywhere so you could charge what needed to be charged etc etc um and there was a hairdryer in the bathroom but i don't know if i touched on that but there was one in there as well as for the staff for the hotel, they were really, really great. The staff were fantastic. Um, friendly on check-in, and we had a few things where the room came with the ironing board, but no iron, so phoned down and it was here in the room within two minutes, so fast. Um, I'm gonna touch upon a negative now. Um, there was a couple. Uh, first one we'll talk about was the beds were quite squeaky. So when you rolled over the beds, squeaked because they were actually on wheels and I don't know if it was anything to do with that but it there was just there was a noise and it was it was annoying um but it wasn't exactly the end of the world the bathroom as you'll have seen had a glass door which was not great for privacy mainly because there was a gap of this on the bottom now fair enough from the vlog footage you couldn't see you know me and Sam trying to wave at each other through it it just wasn't the best for you know for being private when you're in the bathroom noises and whatever else you know just no, a bit needed changed. It was a little bit 90s for me. Um, cleanliness on the whole. On the surface, the room looked really clean. Like, you couldn't fault, like, the bedding and all that kind of stuff. But there was some stains here and there, some marks on the ceiling, stuff like that. It wasn't the end of the world to us, but I know that some people might want everything to be, you know, 100% immaculate. And sometimes it's just not that way. So that's just another little thing I thought I would mention. Um, the housekeeping issue. So when we arrived and checked in, and I want to point out this was not stated online, they are not offering housekeeping um, during the duration of your stay. So your room's obviously cleaned for you, then cleaned for the next people afterwards. Oh, we've just hit low battery there. Um, so for a stay like ours, where we were there four nights, and you've got one small bin, mm, not fantastic. Um, I think they came round on the Monday morning, was it? um and the lovely lady again she was a foreign lady but she spoke some basic english and we got our free bottles of water she gave us more towels and she did empty the bins but obviously we were told that wasn't happening and because we were told it wasn't happening we also got given um a bottle of wine on arrival which i think was to make up for the fact there was no housekeeping so yeah um and as i just said they did tell us that we could phone down and ask for extra towels and stuff because housekeeping wasn't going to come. So I did do that. And the towels again were at the room within legit two minutes. That fast. Um, and they brought up like two big bath towels, two hand towels, and then like a bath mat as well. They brought up everything, you know, so you couldn't really fault it for that reason. So it was a big positive um, in that way, like a negative into a positive. Um... And I think that's all I've got to say on the Park Plaza for the review part of it. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below if you would stay at this hotel. What do you think of the housekeeping situation? I think that was the thing that got me the most. Even just once every couple of nights would have probably been better. But um, I don't know. Who knows the reasons why? You can't keep blaming COVID for everything, I guess, right? Oof. Um, so as I say, give the vlog a thumbs up, comment down below, hit the big red subscribe button as well so you can check out lots more content on the channel and of course tinkle that notification bell so you're notified every time a video goes live. And that's it. I've been Disney Matt, thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope to see you all in the next one. Mwah. Bye.